welcome back to my channel. Today is a video that I've actually filmed a couple of times, but before we get into that, my name is Leigh. For those of you who are new, welcome. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button because you will not be disappointed. And yeah, today's video is going to be on this look right here. This is my May Emerald eyeshadow look. I know. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> And say hi. I'll know once Callie is in my lap, I gotta wrap it up. Today's look is actually my May birthstone inspired look. You guys know I've actually been on quite a roll with my birthstone series. So I've had these, I have January, February, March, and April, and now May. So this is my May series. Now I, my May series, this is my May look. Now, I know it's late, it's super late, but let me tell y'all, I filmed this twice. I filmed this look twice, and each time I uploaded the footage, I didn't like it. Like, I just, I feel like I wasn't satisfied with the look itself, so because I wasn't satisfied with the look, it had to go. I just deleted all the footage, and I was just like, you know, we're just gonna start from scratch. This is either gonna look the way I want it to look, or it's not gonna be a look at all. So that's where we're at right now. So this is a look that I came up with, and this is a look that I was able to use a palette that I've had. You guys have seen this in a haul, and I just haven't used it yet. So it's the ABH Prism Palette. Now, I know this came out a long time ago, but I actually just got this so I probably got this palette maybe about a month ago, maybe about a month ago. If I find the haul where I got it, I will have it linked in a card right here. And this palette, initially the shade that really stuck out to me is the shade Sapphire, which is this like green yellow tone, which y'all know it's June now. Mm -hmm. So that means them summer looks is coming out and I'm definitely like... I'm gonna be tapping into this, trust and believe. Like that's the color that stood out to me the most, but then I noticed that this shade thrown here is like a emerald green. I was gonna use the um, Huda Beauty Gems, but the green in there, that's one of the footages that I was just like, nah. The, the green inside that palette is too, um, it's too light like it's not deep enough to be like an emerald an emerald is like green like Christmas green fun green It's like the true true green So I wanted to make sure that I got a green that was really close to that and ABH prism had my back now The one thing I will say about this this the formula of these eyeshadows is very similar to the um Soft Glam and Modern Renaissance. As you all know, Subculture is a little more of a loose powdered, it's like a loose press powder type formula where the shadows are a lot softer. These um, remind me a lot of the Modern Renaissance where there's a little kickback, but it's not a lot. I mean, look at my palette, it still looks like I barely touched it. Let's not hold you up, as you can see, Callie's in here, so we gotta, we gotta wrap it up. We gotta wrap it up. I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into the tutorial. So I think I was filming this in the morning and I'm not really a morning person. But as you can see, I did my brows and I am so proud of like my brow progress. So I used the Dip Brow Throwback and I primed my eyes with the MAC 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. Now using the Prism Palette, the first color I'm going to use on my eyes is going to be the shade Unity and this is like a kind of like bone shell color and then for my crease shade I'm using the shade Eden which is like this peachy corally pink and I'm actually using the brush that comes inside of the prism palette the fluffy side is actually not bad I actually really like to use this and how many times can I say actually but yeah I like to use this brush a lot now I'm going in with a more pencil-like brush that's a little fluffier than your average pencil brush. This is a Zoeva brush. And I'm going in with the shade Saturn, which is just slightly deeper than Eden. I think they're both in the same like peachy, corally um, type family, but this one has a little more brown to it. 
Now going back in with that brush that comes in it, I'm going on the other side and I'm going to pack on the color Parallel, which is like a chocolate coffee brown. And I'm going to pat that on the outside, connect it in the middle and pat it on the inside. And then using the other side of the brush, I'm going to blend that into the other color. Now going in with my soft ochre, um, sorry, Callie hit the camera. Anytime you see it move like that, it's because Callie hit the camera. So I'm going in with my soft ochre paint pot by MAC and I'm going to carve out my halo eye and then I'm going in with the shade Throne. This is a really pretty emerald green and I'm going to pack that right on top of my, um, my eye base. Then I'm going to take a pencil-like brush and pretty much try to smoke, smoke it into the green. So you want the brown and the green to kind of mesh together. So you just keep going in this motion until it matches. And now I'm going to tight line my top eye line, my top lash line with the Inglot number 77 gel liner. And I'm not gonna wing it out. I'm just using this for where I place my lashes. These are the Kiss Lashes in Peony. And I kind of sped through my foundation part. I will have all of the products that I used on my face listed down below. And we're just going to speed through all of this because we've seen all of this before. This is actually my first time using this powder and it's actually really nice and here I go saying actually again. This is the Black Radiance um, transparent powder and it kind of has like a yellow tint. Super nice. back to my eyes I'm using this it's called the odd Audi C by Marc Jacobs it's their gel eyeliner and it's like that really pretty green again and then to smoke out my lower lash line I'm going back in with the shade Saturn and I'm just going to smoke that out then make sure you coat your lower lashes with mascara for some reason I feel like I never use enough and then go ahead and add your blush. This is the Makeup Revolution um, blush and the Artist Couture Highlighter in Lickable. Oh my god, I love this. Boom, look at that. Yes. Then you pretty much set your face and you're done with the face portion. And you can go ahead and move on to your lips. For my lips, I'm lining them with the NYX earth tone lip liner really love this lip liner and the Marc Jacobs pretty thing lip gloss to pull everything together I've really been loving this lip gloss with nothing underneath yes thank you so much for watching I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel and until next time beauties stay blessed